Dynamic design is the convergence of technology with mechanical design. The idea is to take something that is purely mechanical and take advantage of technology to make it intelligent in a way that minimizes the requirement of the mechanical structure. Well, dynamic design is actually around quite a bit. BMW just recently came out with an announcement about their 7 Series that it actually placed cameras in the front of the car to look at the road as it travels down the highway. And what it does is it looks at the condition of the road and changes the suspension system uh, to accommodate whatever it sees. An example being, there's a pothole. You don't want that tire to drop deep into that pothole, so the system dynamically alters how much it will travel as it hits that pothole and therefore give you a smoother ride. It anticipates, and that's what we do with our dynamic design of our track. Lane. Our tech track distributed product actually has sensors to sensor both force and the environment, and the system, through its dynamic stabilization, actually handles the events in the most efficient manner, whether it be stiffening or strengthening it as a strut to handle wind loads, or in the case of snow loads, detecting the pressure dumps the snow so that it's no longer an issue. Dynamic design has been a major factor in the changes that have taken place at Sunlink in that we now have not only mechanical and structural engineers, but we have electrical engineers, control engineers, and software engineers. It's really this convergence of capabilities that allow you to come up with a design that can be more efficient and cost effective. Dynamic design has many benefits, not only to product cost, but to the entire ecosystem. Because what it does is it provides the capabilities for us to interact with our systems once they're implemented, as opposed to just being snowmen standing in the snow. The dynamic designs are such that we can control them, we can use their capabilities to diagnose problems, to improve the operational and maintenance capabilities of our, of our systems, and drive economics across the board from implementation, maintenance, and the product, which further cements that solar is by far the natural choice for energy generation. I think people are going to be scratching their heads when they look at our new system in a distributed tech track because we've lowered the cost beyond what they think is possible. So once that's recognized by the industry, everyone's going to realize that they're not up against a brick wall where I think they think they are today. They'll be able to step back, look at a bigger picture, and look at the designs from a new perspective and actually make improvements, so it'll be great for the industry.